Hello and welcome to Hollywood Headlines. I'm Kevin Lynch and tonight we are going to be talking about the latest news in Hollywood, starting with the Emmys. Hollywood Headlines starts right now. Before we get into the show, I just want to take a moment to thank Brooke for being today's guest. The Emmys were a few days ago, and social media has been in a buzz with celebration as winners have been announced. Zendaya has made history as the first black woman to win an Emmy twice in a row for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Series. Shirley Ralph and Quinta Brunson both won big for Abbott Elementary, and Lee Jung Jae won for Squid Game. This was an amazing night for recognition, and the social media buzz will continue to go on for at least the next few days, as the event's hype is still at a high. Brooke, any predictions you had about who would win? Were you right at all? <laughs> well, I did have the prediction that Zendaya was gonna win. I mean, she did amazing in Euphoria. Of course, Just yes. an amazing actor. I just thought it, I've seen her in so many different things, and I just think that has been the best thing I've ever seen her in. She just really, made that character come to life. I agree, and yeah. I think she deserved it a lot, so I'm glad that I got that right. That's I agree, and I agree. Euphoria, the way she did that, it's such a serious role, and I feel like only her, with her acting ability, she, she's the only person who could do that role the best the best she could, and she did. Yeah, <laughs> I think she did amazing. I think it was awesome. Uh, were you excited about the fashion at the Emmys? I always watch the award shows for the fashion. That's basically my favorite part. Like the red carpet. Yes, yeah. I love the red carpet. I, I just love everything about the red carpet. I just think it's awesome seeing all these celebs that you don't usually see like out on the streets and stuff like that with cool outfits on and stuff yeah. like that. I yeah. think I like Zendaya's dress the best. I know oh, I'm definitely. talking about it Zendaya a lot, but I loved her dress. I know we usually see her in like more of like a body con dress. I loved the mm -hmm. ball gown flow. I just think she looked so amazing and so classy in it. So yeah, I really absolutely. enjoyed seeing that dress on her. Yeah, I'm not too much into the fashion, but I can definitely agree with all this point. <laughs> yes. How would you rate the Emmys? I en I usually don't enjoy watching the actual word show because I just am like, oh my gosh, like let's keep let's going, keep let's going. keep going. Yeah. And I think they had a really good pace this year. I liked. I think it's just because there wasn't like many like the word shows during COVID were so different, and like there just wasn't as many people able to attend. And I thought I it was really nice to see everybody Everyone back together yeah. again. And I just thought, I, I really enjoyed this year's Emmys. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I agree. I really enjoyed um, Quinta Brunson winning for writing and yes. act, acting in Abbott Elementary. She's yes. coming up to be a real rising star. Yes. And I can't wait for Abbott Elementary to come to Hulu and ABC season two. I'm really yes. excited. The fifth season of The Handmaid's Tale is now out on Hulu. This season follows June on her path of redefining her journey and purpose after finding freedom. Fans are expecting an explosive season focused on the lives of survivors outside of Gilead. The first episode aired September 14th, 2022, and a new episode will be released every Wednesday night, so you don't want to miss it. When we come back from the rake, we'll be talking about the track trick news on PNB Rock. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Philadelphian rapper PNB Rock has tragically passed away at the age of 30. He was last seen at a restaurant with his girlfriend before the tragedy occurred. Millions of fans, especially Philadelphians, have been mourning his passing across social media. But some good has been done in his honor. The Powerhouse Music event in Philadelphia will donate a portion of each ticket sale to the Philadelphia Music and School program in his honor. His memory and impact in the music industry will be remembered by fans and music lovers across the world. Brooke, do you know of PNB Rock? Yes, I do know of PNB Rock. I have listened to a couple of his songs. My favorite would be Selfish. I think mm, that is yeah. also his most popular song, but it's just so sad hearing about all these young artists passing away I out know. of nowhere. It's just it's tragic. I just don't understand what's happening. Like I just I feel like a lot of really big celebrities have died just like in the world, past five years. XX yeah. Tentacion. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's terrible. And I'm sure it hurts all their fans and 
their friends and families and just the area that they lived in. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've only listened to PNB Rock in the past couple of weeks. Uh, when yeah. I've heard about his past movies, I want to learn more about yeah. his music. And the only song I've known he's, he was in, he was in an Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran collaboration, yes. I think with Chance the Rapper too, yes. but uh, his music is just really, really impactful. And I'm sure many Philadelphians are really yeah. uh, mourning his loss, so yeah. Um, do you think this will have an impact on rap or music in general? I think any artist that dies definitely has a impact with the community that they are in, PNB rock, rap. Like, I just feel yeah. like it, it'll always have an impact no matter who it is. And I think it's awesome. The good impact that is happening is them donating the, the money yeah. and stuff like that for the School of Music. And I yeah. think that's a good way to turn around on the tragedy of him dying. Absolutely, using using it for good. This kind of reminds me of Biggie passing, like there was such a huge fan base surrounding mm -hmm. his passing and his was so soon too. It's just yes. hopefully this unnecessary gun violence will just, will just stop. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah, anyways, um, this week, our own Hollywood field reporters, Katie and Brooke, went out to report on the 10 year reunion showing of Pitch Perfect. Take it away. Back to Hollywood Headlines. I'm Brooke. And I'm Katie. And we're about to go see Pitch Perfect for its 10th anniversary. So come along with us as we buy our tickets, get some snacks, and watch the movie. Walking out of the theater, it was a great experience with my girl Katie. Yes. Now we're gonna take you back to Hollywood headlines. See ya! Bye! That was so good, Brooke. Thank you so much for showing this this package. I haven't seen Pitch Perfect, so now I have to go out and see it. <laughs> Kevin! I know, go I gotta go see, see it. it. It's such a good movie. I mean, I love singing. I know you were a theater kid as yes, well. Yes. You will love it. You will love it. Just all the a cappella, the performing, you will love it. And, and you and Katie's chemistry was just so fun to watch on screen. Oh, too, yes. So. Love her so much. We love Pitch Perfect. I think we sing it in our dorm about every day. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. We love it. It was really exciting to do that. When we come back from the break, we'll be playing a game about the new royal line of succession. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Welcome back. For this week, in honor of the new King of England, we are going to be playing Hollywood Hot Minute. Brooke, within the next minute, you are going to try and name eight members in the new line of succession. Your time starts now. Okay, um, I think it's Prince William. Uh -huh, yeah. Right? Prince George. Yeah. Princess Charlotte. Yes, yes, yes. Prince Louis. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the like younger children. Prince, is it a prince? Prince Archie. Archie, yeah, yeah. Lilibet. Princess Lilibet. 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 I, I don't Bet. know. I mean, maybe it's like Lilibet. I don't. I've just heard all those names so much right. in the past like week and a half that I. Any others you can think of? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. Well, I didn't win. There's it. Prince Archie, Prince Andrew, Princess Lilibet, uh. um, Prince Harry, Prince Louis, and uh, I think there's Char Charlie too. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte, and then Prince George and Prince William. Uh, but yeah, nice try though. You got a lot of them, which is good. Thank you. Um, when we come back from the break, though, we'll be talking about the Little Mermaid live action remake and Don't Worry Darling. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Welcome back. The highly anticipated movie Don't Worry Darling comes out this week after controversy surrounding the film. The movie stars Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, with Olivia Wilde directing and starring. After the premiere in Venice, many people online are speculating that Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine and is even distancing from Olivia Wilde. Brooke, do you think any of this drama is true? I don't think the spitting is true. It's actually been, I'm, I'm a Harry Styles fan. Uh, I don't, I'm yeah. sure everybody knows. But, Everyone knows. <laughs> um, it's real. It's both been confirmed by Chris Pines's side and Harry Styles' side. Even Olivia Wilde, I yep. think, went on uh, Stephen Colbert, late yeah. show with Stephen Colbert and the confirmed it. The spit was not real. 
It was no. not real, guys. It wasn't not real. real. <laughs> so don't think that Harry Styles is a bad person. So yeah, I don't think the spit was real. I saw about the whole splitting of Olivia Wilde and Harry, but I think that was debunked last night when she was seen at his last show. His last MSG. show, right? He had 15 yes. shows. So 15, it was sold out. Sold out Amazing. every single one. Yes, he deserves it. I wish I could have gone. Me too. Darn. What do you think about the actual movie, though? Are you planning to see it? Have you like seen the trailer at all? Oh yes, I've watched <laughs> all the different trailers, and just I was I always look out for Harry to post some like trailers, and then Florence like they posted like little sections Snippets, that we haven't yeah. seen and if I'm lucky enough I may go and see it tonight oh, there is some okay, early pre-screening nice. so hopefully we'll be able to do that because I am just I've been waiting for this movie for two years so yeah I'm definitely gonna see it uh, over this weekend I think on Sunday night but um, it's also interesting I really like about the plot of the film like kind of the similar similarities of um, the film to what's actually going on in real life like there's so much drama like Florence Pugh even with their characters he's just trying to get out of this craziness um, but no, uh, all respect for Florence Pugh and everyone oh, in the yes. show. I really hope that all the drama is not true and they're all getting along really well. Yes. Nothing respect for all of them. Our last story tonight, though, comes from the happiest place on earth, Disney. Disney is remaking one of their classic films, The Little Mermaid, as a live action film which will air in May of next year. Controversy has been stirred, however, when fans took to social media to bash Halle Bailey, who will be portraying the role of Ariel. Many fans spewed hate from left and right, calling the project woke propaganda. There is positivity amongst the hate, though, when many black parents took to social media showing their children the trailer, watching their eyes light up as they watched Bailey star. Many people are titling the moment as breathtaking and exciting to watch black children see themselves in media. Brooke, what do you think of the hate surrounding the new adaptation? I think I'm a very firm believer of if this is all, like I think that people should go and see the film for themselves before yes. they form an opinion. Exactly. It was what a two-minute trailer. Two-minute like, trailer, and she was just singing her heart out. Yeah. She did so well. No, I, she, she sounded better than the original Ariel. She there, sounded, I said it. I said it. It's true. Though. <laughs> she sounded. She sounded amazing, and I just think that. When I see all the videos of the little girls reacting, that just makes me even more mad at people getting so upset over this small little factor of the right? big movie. Yeah. I just think that everybody should see it before they form an opinion themselves. Absolutely. Because they may really enjoy it. <laughs> have you also watched the videos of the children watching the trailer? What more do you think about that? Yes, I have seen a bunch on TikTok and I just thought it was, it's so cool. I just see their, their eyes truly do light up and they're just so excited. And I think that is, that's so heartwarming to see that I mean, we have Princess Tiana, which I love her. Yes, and I, love, I think it's I love that. I love that it's live action. Yeah, I think that that's so exciting. So they get some live action. I just I think it's going to be really great to see even more reactions after the whole movie comes out yeah. and little girls going to see the movie all dressed up as Ariel. all dressed up as Ariel. Yeah, yes. that'll be really fun to see too. I can't wait. Um, do you plan to go see it to form your own opinion though? Yes, I do. I as am well, yeah. yes, I'm very <laughs> excited to see it. I, I love The Little Mermaid actually was one of my favorite movies growing up and I don't have a I don't have a problem with it at all. No, I think me neither. I think that it's going to be a great movie and I can't wait. I know Lynn Mel Lynn Lin Manuel Manuel Miranda is, is adding songs. some songs and I think that'll be really cool to hear some new songs yeah. and he's a great songwriter so exactly. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, that's all we have for tonight, but make sure to come back for the latest news in Hollywood. A big thank you to Brooke Roth and Katie Lyle for coming to today's show and showing our package. I'm Kevin Lynch. Have a great weekend, Millersville.